Irving police announced a break in the case of a woman who was in a rollover crash. Instead of getting help from a man who stopped, she says he robbed her. The investigation led police to a Dallas motel. That's where two people were arrested. Fox 4's Deanna Zoga shows us how investigators found their suspects. Deanna. Well, Heather, those two suspects are arrested here just late this afternoon. And initially at the start of this investigation, police said they didn't have a whole lot to go on. The victim was banged up, confused. She didn't get a great, great description of that suspect. But police now say the suspect's own actions since that crash and theft helped them fill in the blanks. Not only did he leave me alone in that horrible situation, but he also stole from me. The day after this rollover crash on Highway 114 in Irving, Kimberly Smith told us how hurt she was that someone would see her misery as an opportunity. Next thing I know, he's gone and my wallet is missing. Smith couldn't give police much of a description, so her family went on Facebook asking people to come forward with information. In the beginning, it seemed like a long shot. There wasn't a whole lot of information to go on, and, and fortunately, we were able to, to put a few things together. According to police, Shakir Sharif and Courtney Ann Martin tried to use Smith's stolen credit cards to buy a cell phone at Walmart and extend a stay at this motel in Irving. The charges didn't go through, but surveillance video at the store and guest logs at the motel let police know where to start looking. It was then that they, they left that room and, and we then caught up to them two days later. Police track the suspects who are listed in jail logs as homeless to another motel, this one in Dallas, where investigators searched Shari F and Martin's room and found the victim's wallet. It really is a new low. Tying at least one of the suspects back to the scene of this crash and theft. Typically when people stop and, and pull over in this manner, they're there to help. I've never seen a case like this where somebody has has shown up or stopped and, and then taken advantage of the person on the left. Well, both suspects, we did look into their backgrounds, have rap sheets for uh, drug and theft charges. Irving police say it's possible that more charges will be added in this case. Shakir Shariyev is in jail right now, accused of theft, specifically stealing a TV from one of the motel rooms. While Courtney Ann Martin is accused of using that stolen credit card, police say that the male suspect was right next to her in that surveillance video when they were using those credit cards, or at least attempting to use those credit cards. As for the victim, she works nights. She slept through some of the news when I called this afternoon, but her mother tells me that the family is glad that so many people shared this story and that the suspects were tracked down. Heather, back to you. Yeah, Dion, I think a lot of people are glad about it. We got so many phone calls and emails about this saying that it's unbelievable that you could steal from somebody who'd just been in a wreck. All right, appreciate your coverage, Deanna. Thank you.